Hello, this is my Pelican two-person fishing boat, highly customized. It's four feet by eight feet and includes everything I'm going to show you. I want to cover all of the details that have gone into this, which are a lot. Uh, starting with the back, <clears throat> has a trolling motor, completely wired into place. All of the outer wiring is all fused and in wire loom. Um, inside of the battery box, got it left open right now, is using the smaller battery just for lightweight. Um, it is just a few months old. And then also there is, beside is a uh, bilge pump. If you ever were to get in a situation of taking on water, it just clamps right on the battery. Uh, of course the battery box has um, hold downs set up for it, um, so no blowing off. Um, back here on this side is the stern light with the switch. And coming around this way is an LED high post light. Let's see if I can get that in there. And it is adjustable. Spin it any way you want, angle it any way you want. And it has a quick connect down here. Got it jacketed that uh, connects into the quick connect coming out of the battery box. Coming down this side is a rod holder. It will hold four rods. Easy slide in and out. And coming up this way, the wiring is a Garmin um, fish finder. Need to clean that off a little bit, but uh, works great. And the uh, fish finder, actually the sensor is back there mounted on the back of the trolling motor, so it gives you a good accurate reading. Uh, up this way, the two switches, you can see there's a bow light for running at night, and another floodlight up at the front. Up here is the shorter version of the floodlight, also adjustable, spin it however you want, a um, little thumb tab to keep in place. And then there is your bow light. Um, have a manual setup for anchor, um, and it just is one of the type that easily locks in place. Um, whenever you're not needing the anchor, you can just disconnect it, leave it in your truck for the weight savings. The uh, spare set of oars mounted in place with actual oar mounts, so they're out of the way, and they do, of course, telescope if you were ever to need them. Um, the seats themselves are the fold-down style, um, so for travel, uh, you can clamp them in place, padded. It does include the life jackets, two life vest type life jackets. Um, as you can see right above there, for the hot sunny days, is the umbrella it is mounted to the back of the front chair, and uh, the uh, angle can be changed. Of course, this just loosens up, comes out of there for when you don't need it, fold it up, take it out of the way. Uh, but it will shade two people, is the nice part about that. Also, custom built a live well. This is kind of a unique situation. Um, pull it out there. Um, it, uh, there's a lid uh, for minnows or your, your fish that you catch either way. Add some water to it, and uh, here mounted on top is the um, just one of the small battery-powered aerators. So that is a very nice feature to have, uh, especially if you're carrying minnows. Um, does have some holsters here on the side for drinks, cell phones on both seats. Um, on the seats where they they slide back and forth for adjustment. Um, I did put. Uh, the, the tabs there so that they would never blow out or anything and the nice thing too if you when you're getting in and out of the boat move the seat belt when you're getting in and out of the boat uh, for a person coming from the back to the front or any other thing is that because of those tabs you can literally just fold the seat over like that walk through the front one does the same thing and then once you get to wherever you're going you drop them back down into place and uh, 
you're completely set up. Um, it includes, I added some pockets for uh, rod and reel holders. Over here, I've got the uh, net in one of the pockets. Um, the net is included. And these clamps here are actually for the larger post slide over here. Um, it really just, just slides out of here. Um, disconnect it from its quick connect and the entire thing slides out and clamps into place. Uh, on the next video, I'll show you how it all looks when it is ready for travel. Um, you see also included in the eBay auction I'll have it on is the cart that I built. And a um, very, very lightweight boat. So you literally just pick it up like a wheelbarrow and roll it to your truck or your SUV. Shift it in the back of even some of the smaller ones. Um, and uh, take the ends of the handles here and just set them up on the, the, the back of your, your bed or tailgate and pull on the boat, the whole thing slides right in. And again, it's eight feet long. Um, even on a truck like mine, which uh, has the six and three quarter foot bed with a, with a uh, toolbox in it, with the gate down, it sets up in there just perfectly. Uh, put a couple straps across it and it holds it holds it all in place but uh, again very customized tried to think of everything uh, one of the neat things too if you do have room for the cart is to uh, throw it um, uh, in the if you if you're taking a trailer or something like that throw it in the back and you can actually wheel the boat down to places that would otherwise be inaccessible because of a lack of a boat ramp um, trying to think of anything else. Got a uh, battery tender to let you know how it's uh, how it's doing. Um, you can put, of course, a much larger 12 volt battery in it. Uh, just set it in place if you were to be using it for days on end, or just take the one out and charge it each day after use. But uh, thanks for looking. Again, this has been a been a lot of fun. This boat and. Uh, will really allow you to get into places that, that other boats won't. And I have, I'm a 205 pound person. I've had a friend of mine that's about the same size. We've been out even in pretty, pretty fairly choppy waters with just no problem at all because of the pontoon design. Uh, bottom of it is good condition, normal scrapes and scratches that you might expect for launching but uh, otherwise completely ready for use. Nothing, um, not completely functioning. It's just absolutely in, in ready to use condition. Thanks very much. I now have the boat in travel mode, which just takes a couple minutes to fold everything down and put it where needed. Um, you can see my truck is lifted, so on most vehicles it's not this much of angle but you just take the handles and set it up on whatever you're putting in, truck or SUV, and just pull the boat, slide it right in, and uh, it goes very, very easily. Um, uh, as far as getting it ready, I just unclip the anchor, set it down in there. The front light that was here stays fastened and just, I'm not sure if I'm getting that or not, but just lays down there. Um, let's see, I got the seats buckled down and also holding the life jackets uh, just as, to make it a little easier. Um, over here are the clips for the long overhead light that uh, hold them in place. Have the umbrella sitting there. Uh, the battery box is secured at the strapping at the little extra webbing there um, just in case the cap would ever come off. Um, Trolling motor is slid up and out. It will actually go further if someone needed to. I just have these clipped there to hold the, the sensor wire, but with those unclipped, it would slide in about another seven to eight inches or so. Um, got the net down on the floor. Of course, that's where any toolboxes would go. Um, any um, fishing poles in there. And uh, it is ready to go that quickly. So. Uh, it does make getting it around a really simple project and uh, as I stated before you can actually just wheel it down to whatever fishing spot without a, a boat ramp if you needed to. Thanks again.